So if you use uh, uh, actually using a privacy protocols uh, on Ethereum today, uh, who here has used a privacy protocol on Ethereum in th this month? Who here has used uh, Railway? Uh, privacy pools? Uh, Tornado Cash? Uh, something different from all three? Sh sh shout them out? Monero, Monero okay. Pao, Pao okay. Pratisha, okay. Now, see, a lot of things are starting to happen, but what does using a privacy protocol today look like, right? So my experience is, so one, it requires you to have a separate seed phrase. And so you have this like totally separate thing that you have to worry about holding and not losing and not having stolen if you want to use your assets, that's one. Two is uh, there is no multi-sig option. The only option is uh, a single key um, option, which is like pretty scary for large amounts of funds. Three, it requires uh, opening a separate wallet. So whenever you want to do a private send, you have to go and like open the thing and then it like slowly yeah, starts loading. It goes from zero to 100. You have to wait like 30 seconds. Four, you need a total of about five clicks to private send and withdraw. So I think when I use Railway, I count you know, click one, open the railway wallet, um, and then uh, click two, um, you have to click on unshield, which is like a different thing than send. And like when I, the thing that I think of as sending is actually unshielding. Sometimes I click send and then I realize that's the wrong thing and I have to do a third click of clicking unshield. But anyway, two click unshield, then three, um, you know, click on generate proof, then you wait, then, you know, four, click on uh, choosing a public broadcaster. Um, and then like when the, and then when the proof is done, you like not usually like a fifth click to like actually just yeah, start the whole process, right? So it's uh, a, like much complicated uh, just on a raw UX level than uh, it could be. Um, and also the uh, public broadcaster mechanism, this is something common to Tornado Cash and Railway and any one of these systems that tries uh, to, to actually be decentralized. These things are brittle, these things often break. Um, these things, I mean, within the last six months, I've had situations where it just broke completely on uh, one version and I had to switch versions. Um, at some point, it broke completely on one internet connection. I had to either turn a VPN on or turn a VPN off. Um, so, very far from perfect, and uh, we can do better.